the sauce on our platform is Hassan. I don't think Hassan is going anywhere. I think Hassan will be doing his thing regardless of platform. Whether he's on Twitch or MSNBC or Rumble or you know, replaces TikTok, he'll be doing his thing for forever. And partially that's because Hassan doesn't want to do anything else. Even if you turn the camera off, Hassan would still be doing that. He's right. He loves it too much. He's got the sauce. He, he's absolutely correct about that. I do love it. So much so that when I'm not streaming on streaming hours, I become relatively unbearable to real human beings around me because what you take for granted and you find uh, to be fun educational content in the real world is unfortunately not experienced in a similar way. You know, you guys appreciate it. You enjoy it. But, like, I literally never, I can't, what bug you kill? I try to kill a, a, a gnat. But, and I literally clapped it, and it still survived. I don't know how. Like, I clapped it. I grabbed it in my fist. I opened my fist, and it flew out away. It kind of feels like I just switched my Twitter profile picture to a board ape. And everybody's pointing and laughing at me because I'm dumping my money into a crumbling industry. Now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, esports is not doing nearly as bad as NFTs are, but it is certainly struggling. And the most recent news has been devastating. If you haven't heard, the king of esports himself is gone. Of course, I'm talking about Snoop Dogg, who left FaZe Clan, which, which that, I mean, that we will, we will remember for years to come. And then there are also some rumors that are pretty bad if they become true. And now, these have been quieted down by the GM of the TSM League team, but apparently TSM might be leaving the LCS. At least some of their most recent decisions allude to that fact. Whether it's true or not, time will tell. And of course, the very real news, the one that we need to talk about the most today, is CLG, who have been acquired by NRG, and now the CLG brand is gone. And acquired is a bit of a generous uh, verbiage. They've been mostly harvested. The entire staff is let go, except for everything involved for League of Legends. Basically, League of Legends CLG will rebrand to League of Legends NRG. And every other part of CLG is dead as you know it. And here's Andy Miller, the CEO of uh, NRG, talking about that. Here's what's going to happen. We are acquiring CLG uh, right. as of this announcement. So Shout we're out. keeping the league infrastructure intact. Yes. The league LCS team, the academy team, all. all the coaches, the analysts, everybody down to uh, Chef Phil. And we'll be working out Shout of the out Chef City, Phil. Uh, facility. Uh, there are definitely changes to the uh, CLG org and Changes. we appreciate everyone okay. who over the years put their blood, sweat, and tears into this org to get to the point where now they can become a part of energy. Uh Okay, to be clear, changes to the other parts of CLG means they're all losing their jobs. We thank Madison Square Garden Corporation. They will now become a major Garden. shareholder in energy uh, esports. And we will be at some point changing over the brand from CLG. Okay. So Madison Square Garden is now also an owner of NRG. Now, for a little insider baseball, if you didn't know, CLG was created by Hotshot, who's a former League of Legends pro who wanted to make his own team that became CLG as you know today. And he sold it at some point along the way to Madison Square Garden for buku bucks. And uh, Madison Square Garden, I guess, doesn't want to operate an esports team anymore. They operate the Knicks, of course, Madison Square Garden in New York, uh, and, and they didn't want to deal with operating CLG. So I guess I guess they just sold it. I guess they probably couldn't find any buyers for the CLG brand outright. So the real value that they held on to is their franchise League of Legends spot, which can be worth tens of millions of dollars. It's kind of like owning a house for esports teams. You can just store all your value into it, and it usually appreciates as long as the game doesn't die. That's how valuable franchise spots are. Uh, and and I guess that's, that's the plan. So NRG did not buy CLG with cash. They bought it with cash and then gave up ownership of NRG. Makes sense. Uh, and the reason I use the term harvested is only because I see things like this. They used the CLG Gaming Twitter, and then they just made it NRG's League of Legends Twitter. Which which is weird, because if you scroll down like a little bit, you can see like, you know, IBDW winning a Smash event. Which is, it's, it's just kind of weird to see. But I get it. I understand. They wanted to enter League. There's limited League spots. This is how they had to do it. Sure. And I do have to give a, a very quick, uh, real and heartfelt shout so out how to everybody who worked at CLG. Because CLG was a very cool org. Uh, there were uh, super pioneers. Um, every esports player that you might know, like, has at some point, I feel like, dipped a hand into CLG. People like Doublelift, they've been huge for Smash. 
Uh, and of course, uh, hearts out to Hotshot, the the owner, the or the original founder, I should say, of CLG. Crying I'm a system. lot, don't know how to react yet, uh, but uh, I want to say something. I'm not quite ready, so we'll we'll wait on that. Shout out Hotshot. Uh, and CLG's gone. TSM's trying to leave, maybe. Apparently, that's a rumor. And so I've been seeing this a lot. This I've been seeing this. Jake Lucky, Jake Sucky. There are so many brands I would love to see in league. Moist Optic, uh, Mr. Beast, NRG, etc. Okay, dude, what the f are you talking about, Jake? All right, Moist is two dudes who occasionally talk about drama on YouTube for like pretty good money. We make we make good money. I am happy with the amount of money I make. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you're watching. But my God, do you know how much a spot actually costs? Now, this is the only deal I could find any specifics on. But Misfits, Misfits, the content team that signed a lot of Minecrafters, Cutie, my girlfriend, uh, and a lot of other things like that, has a lot of money because they sold their LEC spot, the European equivalent of a League of Legends franchise spot, for a, 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 a reportedly 34 to $36 million. Mill <laughs> Jake, you think YouTube pays my that much bro i'm barely holding 12k viewers while i'm playing valorant which is why i spend most of my time watching valorant which actually brings me to the next section of the stream which is what we are doing in the in the in the in the fall of clg now a lot of people have lost jobs along the way and also a lot of players have lost their opportunities along the way uh and we had a bunch of opportunity to sign them uh with not as much money to be able to do all of that signing but there was one that we wanted to try to help out. My favorite isn't the people that are like, my favorite isn't the people that are like, bro, X is doing this. Watch now. <clears throat> like the juicers that go bananas mode and like want everyone on the platform to watch daddy. But it's the guy that comes in just to say XQC. He didn't even say anything else. Like no, no other words necessary. Just XQC, man. Just XQC. Thanks, brother. And it is, of course, uh, CLG Red. Uh, if you don't know, CLG Red uh, is CLG's women's uh, teams, and they have a specific uh, women's Valorant team. It's been leaked already on Twitter, if you haven't seen it. Uh, and and we're going to sign them. We're going to sign them for, for one tournament. Um, uh, Emily, who's who's uh, one of the players on the team, reached out to me, said, hey, we kind of we want to – we just want to, like, feel good. We don't want to, like, enter a tournament – the same week that we have been let go from CLG, they're literally at CLG scrimming and doing all of their matches together in person. So it's it's kind of sad. And, and so we're going to help out. So we're going to uh, pay them a salary for uh, this tournament and then try to find them a home. Now, this is obviously super sudden for Moist, but it felt wrong to not do anything. Uh, and so we were like, okay, we will... We'll try to pay the salaries for, for this tournament. We'll try to support you throughout this tournament and then hopefully find you a home longer term. And this is in the, um, and, and to, to, to the people at Moist, man, I do keep spending money. I do keep spending money. But there are so many talented people. It's so hard not to. It's so hard not to. I, we got to put a muzzle on me at some point, but man, it's just so hard not to. So anyway, that's all to say that if you guys want to support the new Moist Moguls MXM Women's Valorant team. They have officially made it through the open qualifiers, the closed qualifiers, and they are in the main event of this Women's Valorant tournament that is April 11th to 14th. So they're going to be playing at some point here. They're currently labeled as CLG Red, but they will be swapped over to MXM uh, and we'll be able to cheer them on. Um, and if anyone wants a dope Women's Valorant team, uh, then please hit us up. And there's also a lot of other esports players that also need homes. So, so if, you are, if you're in esports at all, basically hit my line all right let's let's make some connections because there's a lot of smashers like ibdw and you might be thinking to yourself Ludwig, why don't you just pick all these people up to which i would say brother i have been i have i r.i.p a woman's team with the same with the name moist moguls yeah nothing scarier than the tiktoker generation it was not on the salmon so can i please get a new one i don't want to Already? I can't make this up. Why is the egg not on the salmon? You guys can see clearly that I'm not making this up. Like, I can't make this up. Do you guys see this egg that's not on here? We, we can't, sorry, 